uh, hider um, TFACY here. Uh, so, the last couple of uh, weeks or months, I've been uh, building this uh, 70 centimeter uh, amplifier, solid state amplifier. Um, it's based on a kit from uh, W6BQL uh, gym. And um, it's um, what you're looking at here. So, uh, sorry for the shaky camera. Um, so it's supposed to be about about kilowatt out with about 20 watts of drive and um, it uh, uses two um, uh, BLF uh, 184XR um, transistors, LTMOS devices and um, and you're looking at them here uh, on top of them are temperature sensors and um, you see the input circuit here and the bias um, supply um, here's the output section, and um, it's a um, pretty nice kit. Um, you can see the combiner here, so this um, combines the two uh, two modules or two 500 watt modules here. So uh, pretty pretty nice. Um, so there's an output section here, um, and I have uh, two board watt, me watt meters here. So um, this is the output one, and uh, this is the input one. Uh, driving it is um, uh, ICOM IC7910. Uh, sorry, um, there's a power supply there. You can maybe you can see it here. So this is a HP um, HP Blade six power supply. So uh, I I got it. Um, um, they were throwing it away, so I I got it and um, I repackaged it. So um, it's uh, it has a really slim, long form factor. So I put it in a, another box here, and uh, there's a solid state relay and um, some controls, so I can uh, turn it on and off again from uh, from the amplifier. Um, that's the basic setup here. Some fans. Um, the heatsink is a bit too small, but um, it's okay for this testing. I'm still uh, trying to think, find a suitable heatsink for this. Uh, um, I have a uh, control unit here, sorry about that, um, that is uh, based on an Arduino um, microcontroller and it is now, uh, it's going to be the one that I use to control the whole amplifier, the, the keying and the, and the relay sequencing, but uh, now it's only uh, set up for um, uh, measuring uh, the voltage and, um, and, uh, and the current and some temperature also, so um, um, you can see it's about um, uh, on top of the transistors is about 30 degrees celsius and um, running 53 watt, watts now and uh, two, uh, 2 amperes uh, running now uh, that's the, the ITQ or the the, um, the BS is on so it is actually just connected here uh, there's a there's the supply I use for the bias, and um, yeah. So um, uh, this is a, this would be a third RF test. So um, I I actually had a bit of a uh, issue with the input uh, matching that is done here, and uh, it has been a bit um, a bit hard getting the, the the input match good. Uh, the first time I I put the uh, the 50 watts on, uh, I had a bit of a, a blowout. <laughs> I actually uh, reversed uh, one of the capacitors and it went up in smokes. But um, I was very happy when I saw it was only a only a capacitor, so uh, not not the, not the Aldimos device. So um, um, so as it is running now, um, it's um, I can I can key that here and. Um, and I can see with, uh, with about 20 watts, I'm getting uh, 800 watts uh, out. So um, it seems to be working quite well. But um, I would like to get the extra 200 watts, but um, uh, I, don't, I am not quite sure why uh, it's not outputting uh, more. But um, uh, there might be some input tuning issues. But um, Everything is working, and uh, you can see here it's uh, 
it's running about uh, 36 amperes on 50 watts um, and um, yeah it was a bit of an RF leaking so it didn't jump to 90 degrees there but uh, um, so uh, it's a uh, okay efficiency I think it's about 45% so uh, and um, it's um, it's heating up a bit but um, and um, I'm almost touching this one um, if this one is heating up a lot um, there would be uh, some power mismatch in both modules but uh, it's uh, pretty cool so uh, it seems to be okay and um, so there's some room for improvement but um, it seems to be working quite well so uh, I haven't done the, the JT65 test so running it for 50 seconds uh, straight but um, I would like to get some uh, better cooling uh, first but um, at least it's um, pretty good so um, I'm happy at the moment and um, so I, w I hope I can uh, run this on uh, EME on the moon and, um, and I hope it's gonna li live long <laughs> and it's gonna be um, uh, it's a high duty cycle on, on, on JT65 so um, it better hold out and uh, and especially if I if I run it on lower power I, I get the worse efficiency so um, I don't um, I don't plan to do so much <laughs> well uh, that's all 73 for TFVCY thanks